So Garmin Zero is Garmin's new bow sight, and it's this incredible piece of technology that incorporates both range finding technology and bow sight into one. So really in short, uh, instead of having to pick up and, and you know use a range finder and then you know figure out distance on your bow sight, it's all in one. It's a compact little unit that goes right on your bow like a typical bow sight. And when you're on draw, there's a button that you press and it actually gives you the range and then drops the pin on a on you know a reticle dot right there to the exact yardage which is just fantastic in my mind and what's so nice about it is you're not you know splitting pins or anything like that you get the exact yardage it compensates for angles and you know it gives you that precise shooting when you really need it I actually started shooting recurve when I was younger and so coming into the compound with the zero it was a big change but it's kind of the change that I was looking for. I mean, it was one of those things that I've been shooting it kind of just day in and day out, you know. The thing is with that Zero, it's a fantastic piece of technology, but you still need to practice. You know, it gives you that precision in aiming when you need it, but you gotta do everything up to that point. So I've been ducking out from work, you know, over lunch and getting shots in, knowing we were coming down here and hunting back uh, on my farm and whatnot. And, this entire season, every time I use it, it just kind of blows my hair back. You know, it's, it's everything you kind of want in a bow sight. And one of the fun things that I do is just picking random spots and random angles that you'd be shooting from. And it's just dead on every time, you know what I mean? Starting at, you know, going 20, 23, 27, 30, 33, you know, 35. It gives you that exact pin every single time. You know, the, one of the things that the Zero won't do is, you know, you still have to know deer. You still have to practice. You still have to be comfortable and most importantly, know your limitations. You know, for me, uh, you know, I, I really felt comfortable into that 30 yard mark, uh, especially from the sitting position. And, you know, you just kind of have to draw that line saying, while this site can go out to 100 yards for target, you know, this is where I feel comfortable as a hunter and that's the limitations that you have to follow. As hunters, we're always trying to make, you know, the most ethical shot. And one of the things you never want to do is lose an animal. You know, if it's deer, if it's birds, if it's anything. And so one of the things that I, I really love about this is that site helps you in those situations because instead of, you know, having splitting pins and guessing yardage, when you're putting that pin on that animal, it's exactly where it should be. Down here in Texas, uh, there's there's a lot of deer and uh, there's a lot of eyeballs on you when you're in the stand. And so having that ability not to be, you know, moving with a rangefinder and then, you know, with your bow is really, really helpful down here. You know, it's just one fluid motion up, range it, let it fly.